What's up guys, Josh here with TerrierHunter.com. Welcome back. Guess it's nap time. Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back. We hope you had an awesome New Year's. Let's all welcome 2021. And today guys, we have a video for you that we wanna cover, which is all about separation anxiety with Jack Russell Terriers. It is one of the most frequently asked questions on the YouTube channel, on the blog, basically everywhere where we have a presence online. It comes up, it's a common struggle, and that's what we're covering today. Separation anxiety with Jack Russell Terriers, and we're starting right now. And of course, guys, real quick before we dive into the content, if you are new to this channel and don't know what it's about, it is all about helping new terrier owners take care of their dogs in the best fashion possible while watching some fun videos in the process. So if that sounds like it interests you, please be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Give us a thumbs up on the video because when you do that, it helps us so much. And now guys, let's dive into the content and talk about separation anxiety with Jack Russell Terriers. All right guys, so in case you didn't know, separation anxiety with Jack Russell Terriers is a very real thing. It is kind of a pain, it does happen, and it is something that you're going to deal with. Most commonly, or speaking from experience with Luna here, you're going to deal with the separation anxiety the most when your Jack Russell is a puppy, when they just left their mother or their family, and when you're starting the crate training process, which now means that your Jack Russell is sleeping by themselves, they're inside of this small crate, they're whining, they're clawing at it so much that you think they're actually going to break free. That's a little bit of separation anxiety taking place. It's also one of those things where you struggle leaving your dog alone, like to go to work or to run to the store or just to have a few hours to yourself going out and about. So first, let's discuss some of the things that you can do throughout the process and then cover some of the things that you shouldn't do and what you can expect. And the number one tip I have for you guys when you're dealing with separation anxiety with a Jack Russell Terrier is A, you need to mentally not make a big deal out of it. I understand that it is sad. It makes you feel a little bit evil when you put them into that crate when they're so cute and they're so little and they act like their entire life is ending because they're going into that crate, but it gets so much better. And if you're making a big deal about it, guess what dogs are pretty smart about doing? They know how to read the room and they know how to get a sense of feeling from you on what they should be feeling. So the more stressed out you're getting, you're probably off putting some of that stress onto your Jack Russell. So you wanna do things such as Put them in the crate and leave it alone for the night. Don't make a big deal about it when you leave for the day. You don't need to go give them a big bear hug and 500 kisses before you run to the grocery store. And you also don't wanna come home and act like it's the best thing on the planet when you arrive back home. Dogs already think that it's the best thing on the planet when you arrive back home. I have a seven year old lab. He does the same thing he's done since he was one year old. He freaks out if we've been gone for a few hours or a day and he gets super excited when we get home. They're gonna do that no matter what. But when you get home and you start showering them with rewards and praise and giving them all this love, you're kind of setting the tone that when you leave, it sucks, and when you get home, it's awesome. So when you do that, what do you think is gonna go through their head the next time that you leave? You're creating the separation anxiety, so to speak. So the tip number one summed up is Stop making a big deal out of it in your head. Don't let them make a big deal out of it in their head. And do not make a big deal out of leaving or arriving back home. All right, guys, tip number two is the exact opposite of what I'm doing right now. Don't do this. I'm kidding. If you want to make videos, feel free to do that. What I'm saying is you never want your Jack Russell to get used to constant contact and interaction. It is extremely, extremely difficult with this specific dog breed because A, they follow you everywhere. If you think that you can go to the bathroom without them coming with you, you're wrong. They're going to come with you. I mean, honestly, even my lab does that. It's kind of creepy. If you think you're going to take a shower without them coming into the bathroom, you're not. If you think you're going to eat at the dinner table without them staring up at you like this, you're not. But here's the deal. There has to be gaps in what you're actually physically or emotionally displaying to them. If the entire time that they are around you, they're getting nothing but awesome praise. Okay, head towards the light. If all they're getting is awesome praise, interaction, love, and basically what they would consider a reward, they are going to absolutely hate when they're not around you. And they already do hate when they're not around you. So you are magnifying the problem. Make sure that they understand kind of the ignore game. 
that doesn't mean that you completely neglect them, but it does mean that there's times where you're just sitting on the couch watching the television and you're not rubbing their belly or you're not petting them nonstop. They need to learn to just lay down on the floor next to you and be calm. If they're constantly not getting that interaction, guys, they're not going to be as severely upset when you're not around. But I can tell you this from firsthand experience, if you do give them that interaction nonstop and you try and leave or you try and put them in a different room because you have guests over, they are not going to deal with that for more than about, I would say, three seconds. So start working on that. Don't completely change your demeanor and start treating them like crap, but change it up a little bit. Show them that life goes on whenever you're, they're not being cuddled with. All right, guys, so those are kind of the main tips, right? There's not as much as you think that goes into what you actually should do with separation anxiety, right? So if you're already implementing those tips and you're still struggling, now you need to find ways to help your dog cope with it get over it and some of the other things that you can expect and do. And the first thing that you can do is kind of like a trick. I honestly don't know if it works that well, but I've read a lot about it and I think it probably works decently, is leave your dog or your Jack with something like a piece of clothing of yours, put it in the crate with them. Most likely you're not going to get it back, so I wouldn't recommend anything you really like, but let them have your scent, especially when they're a puppy with them gives them a little bit of comfort, makes them feel like you're still there. That's one thing that you can do. The next thing you can do is try when you're leaving, if you're going on anything like a one day or two day kind of leave, try not doing something that is even more traumatic for them at that young age, like boarding them. It'd be better if they could even stay at home and somebody comes and lets them out to potty frequently or stays at your home or stays with friends and family. That's going to be much more comfortable for them to get used to you being away as opposed to you being gone plus throwing them in a completely different environment. And guys, as something as like a last resort, you could always do things like use over-the-counter calming medicines. I would definitely highly recommend speaking to a vet before you pull the trigger on which ones you want to use, but those calming medicines have been shown to work. They're basically meant to just bring your Jack Russell down a notch. They do have dosages though, so even if you buy like the the ones off Amazon, there's a certain amount per body weight of your dog. So make sure you look into that a little bit more, but that is something you could consider. And guys, something you should never do when it comes to separation anxiety is never punish them for the behavior that they display when they're having that nervous separation behaviors, which is barking, you know, whining, howling, chewing at the cage, chewing on other items, maybe nervous pottying, things like that. Don't punish them for that. Find ways to help them cope with it because they're not going to understand why they are even being punished in that situation. So you want to avoid that as much as possible. And then guys, when it comes to the very beginning, when you first adopt your Jack Russell, do not let the separation anxiety get the best of you or cloud your judgment on crate training. Crate training is very essential for these dogs. They need it for potty training. They need to learn that they can be isolated from you if need be and it's just good for them to calm down in a crate when they're that young. They need that time to kind of bring themselves down a level. So don't just abandon the crate because they start whining. That is a huge mistake. It'll probably lead to potty training type issues in the future or thinking that they control the house. So stick to the crate training, put all those other methods together and start working towards fixing the separation anxiety problem. And of course guys, be sure to drop comments down below on what you did to deal with separation anxiety with your Jack Russell. We love to hear from you. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, be sure to subscribe. Never forget to give us a thumbs up on these videos if you enjoyed them. It helps us out immensely, get seen by other people with Terrier who need this same advice. And never forget to head over to terrierowner.com, check out the blog. Otherwise, guys, keep checking back with us every Tuesday and Sunday for the newest videos. Again, we hope you had a happy new year and we will see you again in the next video. Take care.